In this problem, we're told an airplane that is flying level needs to accelerate from a speed of 2 times 10 to the 2 meters per second to a speed of 2.4 times 10 to the 2 meters per second while it flies a distance of 1.2 kilometers. What must be the acceleration of the plane? All right, so we're given these five options, and so what we're trying to do here is solve for acceleration. So the first thing for these problems, always what you want to do is just uh, draw what's going on. Right, so we have this plane, right, we know it's traveling 200 meters per second, right, because they say it's going to start at uh, 2 times 10 to the 2 meters per second, which is just 200. Right, and then it's going to travel a distance of 1.2 kilometers, and then at the end of this, it's going to be 2.4 times 10 to the 2, which is just 240 meters per second. Right, so this is what we have going on. And what we're trying to do is find the acceleration that speeds it from 200 to 240. And the way we're going to do this is by using kinematics. So if you look on the right, we have the kinematic equations, which are just equations we can use to solve for uh, right, variables or kinematic variables with constant acceleration. Right, so what are the variables we're given? So we want to write down what we're given. So we're told the initial velocity, right? We're told the speed that is going in the beginning of our interval, which is 2 times 10 to the 2 meters per second, right? So you can call this the initial velocity, or v sub 0, right, which is 200 meters per second. We're given the final velocity, right, the velocity that we're trying to get to, which is this, v, which is 240 meters per second. We're given the distance it's going to travel, right? So in this time, it's going to go 1.2 kilometers. So what we call, we call that delta x. So the change in x, or the change in its position, or how far it travels is just 1.2 kilometers. So we're given that, and what we're trying to do is find acceleration, and we just denote that by a. So you can just say a equals question mark because that's what we're trying to find, right? And so what we want to do is use one of these equations, one of the kinematic equations, and solve for a. So if you look, this one does not contain a, the second one, so we're going to use one, three, or four. And so if you look, we have v sub zero, right? We have v and we have delta x. So we're going to use this equation because we want to solve for a and we have all the remaining variables. So all we have to do is just uh, use this equation, right? So v squared equals v sub 0 squared plus 2a times delta x, right? And so what we want to do is uh, first, what we have to do is make sure our units line up. So if you notice, this is in meters per second, so that we're using distance of meters, but our delta x is in kilometers, and we need to make sure it's in meters when we plug this in, or the units won't cancel correctly. So 1.2 kilometers, uh, we want to convert it into meters. So you need to know that for every one kilometer, there's 1,000 meters. So essentially, all you have to do is multiply by 1,000, right? And 1 1.2 times 1,000 is just 1,200. So this is just 1,200 meters. So basically, 1 1.2 kilometers is 1,200 meters. So yeah, you just want to rewrite that like that. So 1.2, or sorry, 1,200 meters. And so now we've got in the correct units. All we have to do is plug in, and we can solve for the acceleration, right? Because that's what we're trying to find, the acceleration of the plane. So just plugging in the variables, uh, v is 240, so 240 squared is equal to v sub 0 squared, 200, right? That's v sub 0, plus 2 multiplied by a times delta x, which is the change in our position, which is 1,200 meters. So if we go ahead and simplify this, right, 240 squared is uh, 5, 7, 6, 0, 0. And then I'm going to minus this to the other side. So minus 200 squared. So if you actually go ahead and do that, so uh, minus 200 squared right here, minus 200 squared. So 240 squared minus 200 squared, that's going to give you 17600, zero, zero, and that's going to be equal to 2 times A times 1200, right? And 2 times uh, 1200 is just 2400, so 2400A, right? So all we did was get rid of this. And then we can divide by 2400, and that's going to just give us a. So all we're doing is just solving it algebraically, right? So divide that, and when you'll get this, you'll get a equals 7.333, repeating, right? So you can just round it to 7.33, and if we look at our answers, uh, a, right? A is 7.33 meters per second squared. So the units for this are meters per second squared, because notice what this is, right? This was in... Right, yeah, so meters per second squared. Yeah, so uh, your acceleration is going to be A, right? So your answer to this problem is A, 7.33 meters per second squared. But yeah, hopefully you found this useful.